kuna baadhi ya watumishi ambao si waaminifu wanaiga mafundisho haya baada ya kusikia na wao wanaenda kufundisha. The man of God would like to mention this there are servants that they copy this uh, what the man of God teach and they go teach. Usifanye hivyo utaua huduma yako. Don't do that because you're going to kill your ministry. Maana utakuwa chukizo kwa Mungu. Because it's going to be a detestable in the eyes of God. Kwa sababu hujaandaliwa wewe kupewa mafundisho hayo. You were not prepared to give them the message. Yanaweza kwenda ukaona kama mazuri kama mazuri baada ya muda. You can see it's going well but after some time wakati naomba hakuna udhihirisho. When you're praying there won't be any sign. Kwa sababu ukilisema neno la Mungu mwisho Mungu anataka atokezee aliyekupa huo jumbe. Because once you speak the word of God at the end God must review himself that he, to, to approve that he gave you the message. Mwisho Mungu atakupinga. The at end God gonna reject you. Na mwisho utakuwa kichaa kwenye ulimwengu wa roho. And you gonna be a spiritual mad. Kwa nataka kusi watumishi wachache ambao si waaminifu. So the man of God would like to re- some servants of God that are not faithful. Ni vizuri ukajifunza. It's better if you learn. Ukaelewa. That you understand. Lakini kama mtumishi nenda mbele za Mungu kaa na Mungu akupe ufunuo wako, alafu uanze kwenda dahade ndipo Mungu atathibitisha yale ambayo anakupa. As a servant of God it's better for you to take time in the eyes and the presence of God. Ask for him to give you something to teach. After that take step by step and then God gonna elevate you. Nimeona muda umekuwa mrefu watu wakiiga na leo wameharibikiwa. The man of God have seen people copying of what he, God gives him and today they have been completely destroyed. Ukigusa mezimu na laana unamgusa shetani mwenyewe aliye tangu mwanzo alianza kuharibu system ya Adamu na Eva. Once you touch gods and and cast idols and curses you be you touching the devil that he have destroyed the foundation Kama Mungu hajakuruhusu utaharibu mpaka dagi zao wako utaharibu huduma yako utaharibu maisha yako itakuwa kitu cha ajabu sana If God have not allow you you gonna destroy your ministry you gonna destroy your outspring and everything Kwa hiyo asante kwa kunisikiliza Mungu akubariki Thank you for listening and God bless you